I really think it's so strategic to get started earlier on in, at a lower risk level because you feel more comfortable. And then as you grow your business and scale it, you have more knowledge around Facebook ads versus getting really big and then diving in mm. without having any kind of experience about the process or what to expect. I know a lot of people love the idea of using ads, but not so much the idea of actually getting in there and dealing with all of the fun that is a uh, Facebook ads manager and campaign strategy and changes. And, you know, a lot of our clients at that level are also doing so many other things in their business, but they just don't have the time for it. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think I'm an example of one of your clients who's done the Goldilocks approach of working with you all. And, you know, I started doing uh, something that they have called the strategy party, which was like a dive, you know, like a deep dive in. But then I was like, uh, how do I, how do I get this stuff set up? You know, because my business was getting busier. So then I kind of did the middle package of getting support from you, but also being responsible for more stuff on the back end. And now for the last couple of years, I've been all in and been doing all the things with you guys. And you guys take very, very good care of me and do everything of the Facebook ads because it's just not possible at this point. So <laughs> this is not going to happen. So um, I just also wanted to share that because sometimes I think like Facebook ads only get talked about in like, there's, there are a lot of like myths around, oh, it's really expensive or you have to wait until you make a lot of money or something like that. And there are other options available. And I think I'm somebody who's taken these like baby steps and gone through it. Yeah. And I love like letting people know that because I do think a lot of people see who our clients are, people like you and see that as like something they could do someday and it's Mm. not accessible to them now. And I really think it's so strategic to get started earlier on at a lower risk level because you feel more comfortable. And then as you grow your business and scale it, you have more knowledge around Facebook ads versus getting really big and then diving in without Mm. having any kind of experience about the process or what to expect. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I guess on that note, then like who is the kind of person who's like a good candidate to start running Facebook ads or whose business, I suppose, like what has to be going on in this person's business or for them to dive into Facebook ads to start? Yeah. So I'm going to talk specifically about people that are in our niche, right? So people that have digital products or even people who are running one-to-one services, if they want to grow their email list, that's totally doable with Facebook ads too. But I think the the most important things to consider, if you're going to go looking to get a return on your investment, you really want to have a proven product that people actually want. You want to have a proven offer. So you know, you want to have your pricing on point, you want to have your messaging on point. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, we can work on that together. You know, even in our partnership, I knew you have made some changes um, along the way, some based on what you learned outside of the Facebook ads stuff, but also some of the things that um, we've talked about together, too. So it can be an evolution, but you really need to be in a place where you know that your product and offer are working and converting. You also really, really need to be willing to play the long game because it's not a quick win. It's not something that you throw to somebody else and let go of, right? You know, we do all the things for you guys, but there's still a lot of stuff that has to happen on your end because it really truly is a partnership where, yeah, we work on the Facebook ad side of things, but what has to happen after the click for, you know, Mm. all of that revenue to be coming in. So I think, yeah, the biggest things are having a converting product, a funnel that works and just being realistic about what it takes. And that might have to involve a lot of conversations with friends who have run Facebook ads, talk to some people who are agencies or freelancers, you know, you don't have to be ready to buy or invest when you have those conversations, but learning more before you go into it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And talking with somebody like EHM who can tell you like, here's 
why you might not be ready or here's what you would get in place before you would come back to us, I think can be really helpful to just get some guidance because otherwise you might just be like floating around for a little while. But I also think like what Franny is saying is so true and something I've gotten a lot of like panic text messages from friends about in the past that I'm always like, I told you this was going to happen. But, you know, my ads got rejected in the beginning, if you remember, Franny, like because like certain words, you know, triggered Facebook. And so certain things got shut down. Um, I, I learned so much like the, you know, the ads to have a learning period. So it takes time for them to get up and running. Some audiences didn't work that we thought were sure things. Other ones that were like sleepers, we didn't realize were going to be helpful. So it just takes time. And I'm just such a big fan of like patients and business in general and taking the long haul approach. And, you know, I think in our ad relationship together too, like we've seen such a successful turnaround because I am not somebody who's like, for any of this, like ad concept doesn't make my sales this month. And like, I'm out of here, you know? And so we, we take on a lot of people all the time who the, the truth is the majority of people don't buy, right? The large majority of people get served an ad might sign up for the, the free workshop. And then only a small percentage of those people buy, but then they're on my list and then I'm nurturing them. And then I'm showing up on social media and I'm nurturing them. So, and then we're running ads to them again, you know, later down the line. So it's just like, it's, I think you really, like Franny said, have to go into it with this, like, this is not going to be your like overnight <laughs> success, magic bullet pill thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I love what you said too, right? Like a lot of people, some people will buy right away, but a lot of people won't buy. And I call those like the maybe laters. I mm -hmm. feel like I need to make like a little character of yeah. her, um, and give her a name because it's so true. And that's such a valuable part about Facebook ads is that you, you're constantly having new people come into your business. And yes, a lot of them will buy right away, but so many more won't. And what are you doing to nurture them, to keep them engaged and to keep them purchasing from you on a consistent basis, right? Like uh, you'll bring people in month one and then maybe a lot of them won't start converting till month three, but that's like really beneficial for you in month three, even month six, right? Like the work you put in on day one is delivering you results consistently over time. And it just snowballs, which is really, really exciting. Yeah. Um, but you've got to be able to, yeah, see that holistic picture. 